Good morning again. This is David Holland at 60 years old, spiritually. It's my birthday yesterday. I was born again in the University of Durham 60 years ago, and I had a nice little celebration candle and some non-sugared, uh, of course, it was stevia, little coconut cakes. I sent some, some of you my photo, if you're a, uh, a person who is on my mailing list, I've sent you a photo. So guard it carefully and pray for me. This is a khaki or a persimmon. I was telling you on the last video about how to strengthen yourself spiritually, not by doing weightlifting, but by exercise and praying for those who despitefully use you and doing them good. Okay, well, this khaki provided me with an answer because we have a khaki tree in our garden and it's loaded with fruit. Persimmon, if you want to look it up in the English uh, fruit dictionary, P-E-R-S-I-M-M-O-N. Loads of it. We couldn't eat it at all. So I thought, I know, I'm going to put it into little boxes, five, bo five in a box like the sell at a, a supermarket, and take it round my neighbours. And I started with the most difficult neighbour. Went across, trotted across. It's across the road from me. And I rang his bell. Yes. Oh, hello. Good morning. Uh, in French, you come bonjour. Uh, Est-ce que tu aimes les, les, uh, les kaki? No, pas du tout. That was a no, not at all. Shut the door in my face. So I went away smiling and uh, thanking the Lord for the grace to at least go and approach his door and, and offer an olive branch in the form of a box of khakis. I then thought, well, who's my next uh, difficult neighbour? Ah, next door neighbour. I rang his bell. Nobody came. His dog barked like crazy. He knew I was there. Didn't come to the gate. So I went to the next house and she's a little less difficult but she's still not too pleasant so again i offered her some khaki no thank you i thought well, this is going really well <laughs> so i went across the road to to a, a neighbor who's usually quite nice and uh, and this is what she did she said oh j'adore les khaki i thought great we hit gold <laughs> so i gave her 10 khakis and then uh, my, my neighbour Danny wanted five and another neighbour Eve, he wanted five as well. So I got rid of 20 khakis. Samson just falling off the tree and splattering in our garden. So I did good to those who despitefully used me. I'm putting it into practice and I'm thinking, I'm building spiritual muscle. I'm doing what I said I would do and I'm obeying Jesus. That's the main thing. Now, the other thing I want to show you, now this is difficult to get this lady in front of the camera. Let's see if I, ah, that's better. Can you see that lady there? I get her close. She has no arms. She's one leg and she's got a pen or a crane in her feet, in her toes. She's painting, painting. And uh, she's called Leniac Legere. She's an artist who paints with the mouth or with the feet. I, don't, I haven't got a picture of doing it with the mouth, but painting with the one foot that she has. My title today is Adapt and Thrive. Adapt and Thrive. This lady, I don't know how she lost her limbs. I wonder how I would have coped if I'd lost an arm. I was talking to a, another person who I meet on my dog walk and, and he's a gardener and he's he's like this he's got uh, he's got part of his uh, finger missing on his left hand and he's left-handed he's adapted now if we don't adapt we don't thrive we've got to stop moaning about our lot in life the Israelites when they came out of Egypt they sat in their tents and they moaned and God heard it and he was not happy. So in your situation, try and learn some lessons about how to see, how you can put on some spiritual muscle. Bless the people 
who despitefully use you. You may not have a khaki tree, but you've got something you could do. Another one of my neighbours, she used to park her car right in front of my, uh, my gate. And uh, so one day I took the hose pipe out and cleaned her car. And she knew it annoyed me to park a car in front of my gate, so I cleaned it. So look for ways of blessing the people who annoy you and treat you badly. And also be flexible. I'm, I'm getting older. There's some things I can't do anymore or can do less well, but I have to adapt. Now, the saying is, adapt and survive. No, my saying is, adapt and thrive. We can learn to use what we've got if we can't uh, do a certain activity uh, it, for the church and for the kingdom of God. Let's pray and ask the Lord, well, what can I do? I can pray, I can make decrees, I can go to the courts of heaven, and I can speak to the Lord about this and get a decree from the courts of heaven and things change. I am not helpless and neither are you. There are things you can do. There's world situations you can change. You can speak against the wars and the atrocities and you can change things. If you make a decree, realise you're a king, you can make a decree and uh, that will change world events. So as you see the news, instead of just thinking, oh, poor person. No, that person is adapting. That person is thriving. And I'm going to thrive in my old age, I've thought of a scripture, like the palm tree. I don't know where that is, but I know it's in scripture. So let me know where it is. In your old age, you will thrive like a palm tree if you adapt. Amen.